Welcome to Therapy Thursdays on Louisiana Living. We are physical therapy and balance centers. I'm Angela Yarborough, and this is Dr. Jerry Yarborough. Hello. This is not the newest trend um, in fashion. He actually, or, and it's not a torture <laughs> device. It looks like it's a torture device. Just no, don't no. push that button. <laughs> but we are going to talk about blood flow restriction training. That's right. That is right. So blood flow restriction training has been utilized by weightlifters for I don't know how long. But uh, it's really become um, a newer innovative therapeutic uh, device that we use in physical or occupational therapy. And so what it is, is like it says, blood flow restriction training. So this is like a blood pressure cuff specifically made for blood flow restriction training and um, it will blow up to occlude the venous return and restrict the arterial flow. All right. It doesn't completely occlude it. Uh, it will uh, gauge uh, all of that through this device. It automatically does all that uh, to be safe. But uh, so what that does is it'll kind of cause a pooling of that arterial blood and um, so you have less oxygenated blood going into the area which causes your muscle fibers to work more efficiently and causes those bigger muscle uh, motor units to uh, be recruited to be able to take in that oxygen that our body needs. Now, most of the time we're doing this training with the cuffs on, we can do it on the arm here and we can do it on the leg here. And uh, we're doing it while they're doing an exercise. But the whole real philosophy about it is like, say she just had a total knee replacement or a knee surgery of, even for an athlete or something like that and she can't tolerate a lot of resistance, no heavy weights. Well, we occlude the blood flow to the area and so we'll use less weights and in that exercise, it'll be like we're getting a high intensity uh, exercise um, activity going on, but actually using a low resistance because the joint can't handle it. So it's, it's really cool, and uh, it, b by causing those uh, larger motor units to, to uh, be more efficient, it causes the muscles to hypertrophy or to enlarge, and we're building strength. Now in physical therapy, whatever kind of training we're doing to build muscles, we always have to work to the point of fatigue that's how you build muscle strength, if you didn't know that. Uh, did you know that? I did, because I've heard you say it before. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you live with a physical therapist, you get to hear all kinds of things. But anyway, so you uh, to build muscle strength, you have to get to the point of fatigue. And, and this uh, makes it more efficiently and more safer uh, for joints or, or areas that you can't. Now, when I first heard about this about five years ago, I thought, oh, that's only for athletes. But recently I learned that we can also even use it for neurological patients. So that really perked my attention, you know. So yeah. they've seen good results with people uh, post-stroke or, you know, with Parkinson's disease or any kind of traumatic brain injury utilizing blood flow restriction. So the, the uh, uses of it are, you know, just endless. And we now are offering this service at all of our physical locations. So uh, that's just one of the one of the innovative things that we use. We try to uh, incorporate uh, all the uh, up to date, most innovative uh, equipment and techniques to help our patients and our communities love their lives. So if you're having any kind of impairment, come and see us at Physical. Thank you, and we'll see you next week.